All right. So as you all know, usually Milo does this, but he gave me a good list to go over during this call, which is exciting. It's the beginning of a new month. So first we were going to go over the promo for April. We chose this pack to be the spring cleaning pack since the weather's getting warm and everyone's starting to clean out the house and get all the dust bunnies cleared up. So we have two sizzle strongs, two vibrant laundry detergents, one aseptic clean, two cucumber limes, two Mount Pleasants. And then with that pack, you get a two free super shine toothpaste. The distributor price is 185. And then the preferred customer price is 204. So that's the monthly special. And then we talked about this. We're actually going to do something that we don't normally do. We're going to announce what the deal of the day is early. And so the deal of the day, I believe it's on the 20th, is going to be 20% off of the TSX as well as all of the different packs. Because we understand this is a top product or a higher quantity product. But we want to be able to get some of the savings to you because realistically, you need to do it for six to 12 months to really see those toll mirrors. And so the 12 pack just alone. So normally it's $138. The With the 12 pack, it's already $1,100. So it's 50 or $556 off. On top of that 20%, it's going to be another $220 off around there. We haven't had it fully priced out, but that's about what the 20% off is. So altogether, it's going to be over $750 off most likely. And so with that 12 or with the 12 pack, 20% off, what we want to do is if you can get the lab results, I'm not sure exactly where you're at, but you can go to a lab and they'll test your telomeres. And if you get the 12 pack, that's going to be a 12 month supply. And then we encourage when you first get it, go get tested. And then when you go back after the 12 months, get tested again and send us it in and let us see what the testimonies are. We want to see how much those telomeres are lengthening. Um, So that's going to be the deal of the day, which we don't normally announce, but we're excited about it. So keep that in mind. Next, so Milo wanted me to announce that he has a tour in Wisconsin and Iowa starting April 25th to the 29th. Call in customer service. We sent them the details. Before we get a flyer, you can call in and get all the details there. Um, The next comp call or compensation call and the breakthrough call is going to be May 2nd, which is the first of or the first Monday in May. Um, the comp plan. So the call for that one, they're both the number is three, four, six, two, four, eight, seven, seven, nine, nine. And then the access code if for the comp training is going to be eight, six, seven, five, four, three, zero, one, nine, one, five pound. And then the breakthrough call is going to be that same number, but the access code is 8200661275 pound um and then that comp's going to be at 5 p.m. and then the breakthrough at 7 how it is today um i also wanted to go over a little mountain mountain because <laughs> we're getting close and as i'm starting to plan i'm really seeing how close it is we're like two and a half months away from it um, we're starting to get all the activities planned out. We're starting to purchase all of the little things that you normally forget about. Um, we did want to cover. Um, so first Mount Mountain Day is going to be that 16th on that Thursday. You'll get there on Wednesday. Um, Friday, we're going to do the Supernatural Tour. And then after that, we're going to have some of the big leaders covering, um, just some training on what it's like out in the field and they'll have different topics. And then on Saturday, we're going to do a gala where we're going to talk about or where we're going to 
do a bunch of corporate training and then recognition and have a really good dinner there at the Marriott. And so we're extremely excited about that. I did want to cover hotel rooms though, because a lot of people have been asking about booking hotel rooms. Um, let me find where that's at. So we do have rooms blocked off still at the Marriott on Friday and Saturday. We still have 15 rooms. Now I do know that a lot of people are going to be staying Wednesday and Thursday night as well. Um, there are rooms at the holiday right here in Springville that we'll be picking up, but I do recommend if you get, or if you can to get Wednesday and Thursday night at the holiday and still trying to pick up those 15 rooms on Friday and Saturday, because on the training is going to be at the Marriott as well as on Saturday, the gala all day is going to be there. There's going to be a three hour break in between, and it's going to be a lot more convenient to have your room right there in the Marriott. Um, but also if you're going to look for other hotels, the holiday right here in Springville, if you look it up, they have rooms blocked off for us and we can also increase that block. Um, so that's staying. Um, we did want to remind everyone that if you have purchased Meyer Mountain tickets to uh, get those waivers in, if you haven't already, and if you are still planning on going to Meyer Mountain, I recommend purchasing the tickets this month because there is going to be another price increase as we get closer. It gets more expensive to plan for more people when we're two weeks away. Um, you still have all of this month, but it will increase um, up a hundred dollars on May 1st. So if you're planning on coming in, just make sure to um, call in and buy your ticket today before it goes up um, in May. Um, oh, and then I wanted to cover the leaderboard because we updated that last week, staying on Meyer Mountain. And I wanted to say that Samuel and Naomi Hostetler is at 1,065 points. And then just in the past week, Marion and L and Julia Yoder have jumped up like 500 points and they're right below them at 1,050. And so I'm getting anxious just watching, putting in the leaderboard points every weekend or week thinking, oh my gosh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be running the report? But um, if you're not in the top 20, so um, we're not compressing it down. So you have to be in the top 20 to get one of those prizes. But if you have points and you're not even in the top 20, you can still use those for vouchers. I wanted to remind everyone that... Let me find where the vouchers are at. If you have over 250 points, then you can get a $50 voucher at Mara Mountain, as well as if you're over 450, you can get a $150 voucher. And if you're over 900 points, you can get a $300 voucher. So even if you're not in that top 20, you can still get rewards with it. There's still a benefit to trying to get as many points as you can, even if you're far from that 20. But also... If, I mean, just going off in the past week, they've gotten 500 points. You can do it. If you guys are working for it, you can easily get into those top 20. Um, so let me make sure that I didn't go over or miss anything that Milo wanted me to. Nope, it looks good. So I'm actually going to pass the time on to Thomas. He's on here. Um, we were just out in Pennsylvania last month and we got a I got to meet a lot of people Thomas already had, but it was really exciting to see out there, see everyone out there and see the growth and see the excitement and seeing what the Mauer mission means to everyone and hearing everyone's testimonies. And that is the largest contribution to all of the growth that we're seeing. And I want to pass on the time to Thomas because I know that he had a couple of remarks that he wanted to mention. Thomas. Hey, everybody. Caden, can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you. Perfect. No, I'm excited. I was excited when you asked me to be on the call. I knew we were going to have a great host on. Usually it's a good host, but I'm glad that this time we have a good host for this call. So no offense, Milo. <laughs> no, <laughs> got to get my digs in when I can. No, I'm excited. This is, this is a great opportunity to kind of reconnect month after month, kind of uh, renew your goal, you know, hear about what's going on at Sizzle and 
and I have some good things to share. You know, when we went out there to Pennsylvania and you get a visit and you get to talk with a lot of people and you get to hear their testimonies, like I said, that's always been my favorite part is listening to testimonies, listening to people say, oh, this is my sizzle home. Oh, this is my sizzle couch. Oh, this is my sizzle car. or Oh, this is my sizzle buggy or whatever it is that we're able to change lifestyles. And that's exactly what it is. And that's why, you know, I love the fact that we changed the luxury auto bonus to the lifestyle bonus because all we want to do is help enhance everybody's lifestyle and better their health and and create toxin-free homes. And, And, you know, a lot of that comes to what everybody is doing out there in the field right now. Because it is, you know, we we try to connect with people because this is the people business. Yes, we have amazing products. Yes, we have safe products that are life-changing, but we're in the people business and the relationships that are forming and the connections that we have with everybody is really what makes Sizzle so important and, and what is contributing to so much of our growth. And, man, I just love the fact that we are month over month growing. We have distributors that are, you know, every single month breaking goals, getting their checks bigger, volumes are growing, you know, less and less items on back order, more inventory coming in, being able to purchase more inventory and more inventory and more inventory and more inventory because, man, we've been buying a ton of inventory because we know that without those products, it is impossible for people's lifestyles to change. And it gives you an opportunity to connect with people. And, and it's just exciting. I love going in and Monday morning talking about talking with Milo and saying, hey, where are we at? And he says, we're going to make another break, record-breaking month. And it's exciting. You know, we're a part of this. Right now we are just at the very, very beginning of where we're going to be next year and the year after and the year after and the year after because, you know, unfortunately for me and Caden, this is a life sentence. We're in this thing for the long haul. You know, my kids, man, they're in it for a a life sentence. They're going to be in it for the long haul. And Caden's kids and, and their kids' kids because we're building a foundation of honesty, integrity, you know, the relationship or building relationships, quality relationships, and making sure that that is engraved in every single every single person that comes in and is a part of Sizzle. You know, so many kids are going to be coming to Mower Mountain, and that makes us happy. Where a lot of people might find that frustrating, and oh, we want to take the adults and go do this. You know, this is a family business. People are passing on their Sizzle business or incorporating their kids into their Sizzle business or helping train their kids to start their own sizzle business because that's exactly what sizzle is. It's a family-oriented, lifestyle-changing relationship business that is changing the lives of literally tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people every single day who are consuming life-changing products and being able to be a part of this relationship business. And, and I love it. Like I said, growth, I, it's never going to stop in my opinion because it is literally – Every single month, new goal, new goal, new goal. I honestly can't see it stopping. It's, we're going to be a billion-dollar business before, I can, before we even know it because at this rate. It is incredible to see where we are going and how, just how stable it is. You know, a lot of people, they see 1% or 2% growth over a year, and that's a great year. We're 20 30 40% month over month over month over month, year over year over year over year. It's because we're doing it right. We've set a foundation. We're sticking to what we're saying. The comp plan isn't changing. The products aren't changing. They're the same formulas, the same potent formulas. They're worked. They're toxin-free with new formulas coming out. My father was up here just today trying out some new things that he's trying, that he's working on. He were continuing the legacy. And, guys, honestly, we have so so many great things coming out in Mower Mountain. I hope every single person is going to be there because those are going to be the people that are privy to the insider information. They're going to get insider training from people from Japan and Australia and other parts of the world here in the U.S. on what they're doing, on what their successes are. You know, maybe there's going to be some new releases out there. Maybe there's going to be some other programs coming out there. Maybe there's going to be some insider training that they're only going to be privy to only if you're there at Mauer Mountain. And so I want to stress the fact to get out there to Mauer Mountain. Come party with the Mowers the way the Mowers like to party because it is a heck of a good time. We're going to have fun. 
There's going to be horseback riding. There's going to be Western lifestyle, but there's going to be amazing training opportunities. And it's an amazing way to deepen your relationships with your team here, with team building exercises, and also to be able to connect with other sizzle downlines to really see what their successes are and maybe help your business grow and be better. Maybe help you think outside the box, help you better your, better and refine your goals, help your business you know, reach new levels and achieve new goals month over month over month over month and overall just better yourself altogether. And uh, man, 2022 is already off to an incredible start. You know, we've been through a, a horrific pandemic. It's halted supply chain, but thank goodness we have our own manufacturing where we are able to stay ahead of the curve. I think we only have two items on back order in the U S right now. And one of those is soon to come off either today or tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow. So, guys, it's honestly nothing. There is no better opportunity than commit today and ride this train because there is no stopping. Aiden, are you there? Uh, yep. I'm going to pass the time back over to you because, man, we got some great things coming up. <laughs> I agree with you. Thank you, Thomas, for hopping on the call. All right. So on that motion, I'm going to push the time over to Liesl because she's actually going to be interviewing some of the leaders that are a part of setting up these events and going over um, or bringing in people to Sizzle and showing them what it's all about. So Liesl, do you want to take over? Absolutely. <clears throat> we had a good time. And speaking of sharing, when I went there, I heard several stories that you and Thomas were telling about how you hide my phone in the ceiling of my office. And I had a lot of people come up and say, I hear all the things your nephews do to you at work. And I said, yes, they do. So uh, you'll never know how weird it is to go into your office and hear your phone ring and not know where it is so but we like to have fun with each other we like to have fun and honestly this trip and this tour was a lot of fun it was just a couple of cities here but we had a blast those of you who know the ring story knows that uh that comes out every once in a while and poor marvin i have to tell marvin i'm sorry i honestly think i spent the whole trip apologizing for milo and all his little um tricks that he pulled on people so um that's okay i know you guys heard about me getting booted off our flight for my knife so um it's just kind of this weird mauer family that goes around and we have all these crazy things happen to us but um i'm telling you guys we had so much fun and when you talk about what you do in person, I'll tell you, it's completely different than a call. Just the bonding that goes on. You can ask questions, the camaraderie. You see people again. And you really do develop a closeness with each other that you just can't get even on a Zoom call. You So if you ever have the chance to go to Mirror Mountain, if you ever have the chance to go to a red carpet, if you ever have a chance to go to these meetings that Milo does or anybody else does, please go. They're amazing. Each time they talk about great content, it's like the leaders talked about this last time. Each time you go, you learn different things. Uh, you pick up things. And as that slowly, because you go to one meeting, and if you're new to this, uh, you can't keep it all in your head. But as you go and you keep learning, you start you know, acclimating all this uh, material. We're a science heavy company and that we have been since the beginning. And we have a lot of people who really like, like that about us. Um, we don't like to do it too much of it, but honestly, it was great to see these people get up and talk about these products and talk about the liver and all, you know, there we've got these amazing little scientists in the making, but I do want to talk to the leaders. We had some leaders. It's great. We had some veterans out there with us in the field. And we also have some leaders coming up through the ranks that truly are inspiring um, to see and how they're building their group. Now, I talked about the Mauer mission, which is always fun. And it's my perspective on it, my why, um, you know, how I first started to see the Mauer mission. Of course, I had a front row um, view to what uh, how that happened. And it's always interesting. And everybody has their own story. These guys have their own story. And of course, I got up and I talked about that. But the one thing I asked in each meeting, I came back and I kind of talked to everybody about it is, um, I said, how many of you guys have 
been able to see my dad, Tom Sr., in a meeting. And hands came up and, you know, I look around the room and I honestly thought I I was looking at it wrong, you know, 10, 15 percent. The second meeting, you know, I, I wanted to ask the same question. Packed meetings. We had so much attention or attendance. It was awesome. I asked the same question, maybe 10 percent at the most. And, you know, in a way, I was sad just because. Um, I'm sad for distributors who've missed him, such a dynamic personality. But when you think about what a powerful message that is, um, he's been gone and we're building. He'd be so proud of what we're doing. He'd be so proud of the growth. He'd be so proud of where we are and to have two rooms full of people who they haven't seen him. Obviously, they know about him. They're hearing stories about him. It shows you this We just like Thomas said, we are growing month after month. And it was kind of cool to see. So kind of sad to see, but in the end, very, very cool. So I'm going to have our leaders. Like I said, we've got some veterans and I'm going to have um, some of the newer leaders at the very end of this. Um, and I'm going to have you guys maybe not talk too much, maybe just a minute or two and talk about the highlights of the trip for you. And I'm going to start out with Miss Lara Bacini. Miss Lara, are you on? Unmute yourself if you are. <laughs> Can you see Anthony had to come and help me? Can you hear me now? Thanks yes. for hopping on, Anthony. <laughs> So it was an absolutely incredible time. I'm so grateful Lisa's back on the road again. It's been, we were trying to figure three or four years, something like that, but it's been a long time. But it was her first time going to Wisconsin and Indiana. And some of those people had been out for a red carpet, to, but to have her out and what Milo and Lisa contributed to the day, uh, the days, both in, in lo both locations was unbelievable. And to have corporate representation in the field is something special and unique. No one has what we have. And so I super appreciate the uniqueness of Sizzle and that they keep doing this, that Milo comes on the road, that Liesl's on the road again. So um, we're, we're just going to keep growing. And, and you are right. In the areas that are having these meetings, you can see the growth. It's, it's absolutely huge. And a big shout out to the local teams. They are just phenomenal. But low-key and together it's a team effort and they're pulling off these amazing events but the best part is uh they're reaching people they're sharing the mission they're sharing the passion they're making a difference and they're truly changing lives it's a lifestyle but we're helping change lives and at the same time people helping people there's so many people hitting ranks that's the most exciting part so um thank you again lisa for being there we really appreciate you and milo and taking the time to be with us. Uh, you're welcome. And it was a lot of fun. And I have to give kudos to Lara because Lara has been with us for a long time. Um, I say, because I've seen it, she's one of our hardest working leaders. And the more she grows, the more she works. Um, and I have to also kind of just say, um, repeat what Thomas said, this is a family business. And of course, you know, the Mowers work together at the Pacinis. We met them. They've always worked together. And someone came up to me at this meeting and just said, gosh, you know, we've got kids here. I hope that's okay. Um, but, you know, we work this. It is just like Thomas said, yes, it is okay. They were all well-minded, you know, all taken care of. It didn't even um, interrupt the meeting at all. I was so impressed. And that's what this is all about is working um, with what you've got, what you can do. And of course, and that's with your family. And Laura has shown a great example to that. And I'm going to have Miss Lisa, her daughter, who she's just done a great job with um, to kind of get on next. She was there. She gets on and she's so fun. She's got a lot of fun as far as her um, attitude, a lot of fun videos that she does, everything she does, she just approaches with um, tackling it and just being herself. And I just love the spirit that she brings to Sizzle. So Lisa, if you want to join us. Hey, everyone. Thanks for having me on. Um, so I, I thought it was amazing. The two events that we did, um, you know, I always really appreciate when uh, the Mowers come out or corporate comes out. And it was I, I, I'm so grateful that Liesl was able to be there. And Milo is always a fun time. I love having Milo out with us. We always we always joke around and 
he he brings great energy and it was amazing to have Liesl there. She brought amazing energy also. Um, so I just think that it, I'm just so happy that um, we could be together and share the Mauer mission. And I love going out to help educate people and sharing the Mauer mission and, you know, the team in Wisconsin and Indiana, um, they really did a good job putting on the two events. Um, it's a lot of hard work and effort to, you know, be there and set everything up and they did an amazing job. And, um, you know, I just, I, my favorite part of the days is listening to everyone's testimonials because you know that you know, your hard work and effort is helping other people and, um, you know, changing people's lives. And uh, Milo's video was awesome. Uh, I actually got a couple calls today that people that didn't get it transcribed to the paper, they want me to mail it to them. And I actually got a lot out of that video, too. It, um, you know, Milo, was, we actually worked out with Milo. A uh, couple of the nights he had us in the gym till like 11 o'clock at night. And uh, he always motivates me to, you know, do better and, and grow. So I think I just really liked that video. Um, and yeah, it was an amazing event. We got to see Denise and Lynette. It was, they came to both events, uh, the Wisconsin and the, the one, well, Denise came to the one in Indiana with her friend. So, and she was also there. That was awesome. Uh, Ray surprised us too, which was cool, but yeah, it was an amazing time and uh, everything was awesome. Very cool. And um, don't let her fool you. She was also a presenter. She got up, she did a great job. So um, it's fun to see her as she's just growing through the ranks and becoming a, a great leader in and of herself in her own right. So um, thank you, Lisa, so much. So another person basically in that Bacini family, but definitely they're so different. They each have different jobs in what they do. And Anthony, I love watching Anthony. He is just on top of everything. And if there's something that needs to be done, and we kind of messed with him a little bit with, with the, um, you know, our little clicker and stuff, but I'll tell you what, if he sees a problem, he goes and he handles it. So it was a lot of fun. Anthony, are you on? I am here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Um, yeah, the event, the event was so much fun and both, both the events were awesome. And it's always about, about being with the team and just seeing the different faces that are always there. And then the new faces that are there, you know, we have these big events and we, we would be talking to an empty room if it wasn't for all the people that came and, you know, without, without the people, what do we have? And I think that's the biggest part of it for us. Um, getting to, to come back and see it. But one of the things that I heard the biggest feedback, and I don't know if Liesl knows this or not, but one of the biggest feedback that I heard from, from distributors at both events was that hearing the Mauer mission from not just the Mauer, but from Liesl. And it wasn't, you know, not that every Jonathan, Jonathan uh, Slaywell said it perfectly. Every he's heard the Mauer mission a thousand times. And every time he takes something new from it and every time he loves it, but hearing it from Liesl, it wasn't, it was, it was her version of the story. It was the original Mauer mission story from Lisa's own mouth. And we have a little bit of it in the video, but you got into so much depth of it. And I feel like really uh, people really appreciated seeing the heart that you have for everything and just, and just what it, what it means to you. So I think that was probably the biggest feedback I had. Um, everyone loves picking on Milo. So we got to do that quite a bit. Um, but he did an awesome job at, at both events. And I think, you know, just the ability for us to connect with people that way is so cool. We really do appreciate, um, you know, the corporate staff coming out to support us. Um, this is probably going to sound bad. We could do it without the corporate staff, but it's much easier for us to do it with the corporate staff. And we love having you guys along and you bring so much different to the table, whether it's, you know, a mower or not a mower. Um, there's just so much that we get from it. So we appreciate you guys so much coming out to support us. And then seeing, you know, people come to, to the different events. I think we, we had a, a rare Ray Hutchison sighting for the first time in, in two and a half years for me. So that was awesome. 
Um, and then just, just everyone, everyone coming along was so cool. Um, I had someone do a dry scoop with me at, on stage at the second event. And, uh, that was pretty fun because he definitely didn't know what to expect, but I, I think we handled it. Okay. There was, you know, no issues. Uh, we have fun. And I think that's the most important thing to take from this. These were small events compared to Mauer mountain. And I think the amount of fun that we're going to have at Mauer mountain, like we, we didn't even come to the bottom of the mountain for how much fun we had at these events. And we were laughing, you know, 90% of the time we might've been a little bit exhausted with all the, the driving and Milo making us stay up late working out, but it, it was, it was awesome. It was such a blast. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And thank you for, for letting me speak tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Anthony. And, and we did have, um, a really good time. One thing I noticed that when somebody had gotten up and they were talking about Anthony, they said, um, you know, Anthony is someone who no matter what is always there. And I remember people around me nodding. So I just was really impressed by that. So you must support your team when they mentioned that and everyone around was in full agreement. That's the best uh, compliment, in my opinion, you can get in this business. that you are always there for them. So good for you. You're an awesome guy. So it's been a lot of fun. And you make me cry. Um, our, yeah. um, our next gal that we're going to have up, Denise Survey, she's awesome. And when she heard we were coming, not only did she go to the Wisconsin event, she came to the Indiana event. I mean, talk about having a love for the Mauer mission. And Denise always has a love for that. She comes, she tells her story. She's got a great testimonial. Most of you guys have heard it on Bring Vitality with her son, Logan. It brings me to tears every time. It's definitely a story. If you have kids who've ever struggled through any situation, you can totally relate to. And I have to agree with, um, I can't remember if, if Thomas or Caden said it, these testimonials we literally, we live for. And there were so many new ones that I brought back this time that were so cool to hear. And we've got new products that people are trying. So now you hear some new stuff. But it's a lot of fun. But Denise has just got, one that just hits everybody's heart and she comes and she's got up both days and she talks about it and everybody's crying. And, uh, but if anyone loves the Mauer mission, it is Denise survey. Denise, are you with us? I am Liesl. How oh, hi there. <laughs> um, yeah, it brings tears to my eyes too. It was like, you know, I try to get through that without, you know, <laughs> without the big, the big tears, but it's a little hard because it's a, it's a, just a really emotional story. And I think that, you know, that kind of falls into what I observe with so many other people with the testimonials. And that's again, one of my favorite parts too, um, is the testimonials and just, you know, I can't even tell you how many times I had tears in my eyes during the, you know, the two different events when people were sharing, you know, testimonials and, you know, what the hardships they went through and how things changed and, you know, how this whole sizzle thing has just, you know, come full circle for them and made a huge difference in people's lives. So I guess, you know, for me, that's, that's one of the biggest things. It's like, I guess if we can, you know, impact people's lives in a positive way, like we can with these, these products and these people. And, you know, um, one of the things that just amazes me at events and I just love, love, love is a fact that everybody coming together and it doesn't matter who's on which team or if they're sideline or it, it just doesn't matter. It's like one big sizzle family and, and that's so cool. And I, I think that that starts at the top with the mowers because that's kind of the heart, the big heart there. Um, like I said, at the event, it's like, you know, all you mowers, you're all cut out of the same wool. You know what I mean? It's like, obviously everybody knows I had like this huge love for Tom senior and, you know, went anywhere I could to be able to learn from him and, you know, spend time with him and, you know, even got to snorkel with him and all the fun stuff too. But, um, but just the love for the the integrity and the honesty and the caring and the, you know, I mean, and he, you know, he said, you know, he just, you know, he just, this was something that he was 
basically told he needed to do and he took it very seriously and um, impacting people, you know, with the knowledge that he has. And obviously he did that. And it was great to hear you, Liesl, share, you know, your story about, you know, about the Maurer mission, like the other people said. And, and Anthony, I know we could do it without without the Mowers and Milo and corporate, but we sure don't like to because they're really kind of fun, you know, <laughs> we always have a good time, even though I got teased about my purple laptop pillow. <laughs> It's all good. Um, so, so it's really the coming together of the, you know, the people. And one of my friends said to me um, just today, or I think it was today or yesterday, she says, okay, so you went to that meeting in Wisconsin, then you went to Indiana, and not long ago you were in Pennsylvania. Aren't they all kind of the same? And I said, you know what? No, they're not. <laughs> I mean, they're not because it's like you're with different, you know, there's different testimonials, you're hearing different things. And I said, the thing is, too, is like, I don't really want to miss them because it is so much fun. I says you start to develop relationships and friendships with all these different people from all over the place. And it you don't want to miss them because you don't want to miss seeing your friends. And that's what we all become is a bunch of friends and one big happy family making a difference in other people's lives just through sharing and through, you know, like Ray said, you know, the people and the products and the in the purpose, you know, I love that. And I think that's it's really what it's all about and kind of getting it done together. And, you know, nobody can do it alone. We just do it all together and make a difference. So um, I had a blast. I, you know, hearing the Mar Michigan and hearing you share about, about Tom, of course, touched my heart. And, and I, I hadn't thought about what you said until tonight about how the fact that a lot of people haven't met him does mean that, there's just that many more new people coming on. But the cool thing was in Pennsylvania, you know, and then last in last November in Indiana, seeing Thomas and Caden, you know, it's so cool from Tom, from Thomas coming out with one of, of Tom Sr.'s jackets on to then seeing, you know, it was, it's amazing just seeing the similarities in, in how they present even you know, very similar to Tom Jr. in some ways and very similar to Tom Sr. in other ways. And I and I, thought, I was thinking about that the other day and I thought, well, that's really interesting because I only know of one time that Thomas presented with Tom Sr., like where they actually presented together at an event. And I don't know if Caden never did, I not that I'm aware of, but yet it's like there's so many similarities and it's just because they're all cut of the same wool. Honesty, integrity, doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. I just think we cannot be in a better place at a better time with a better company, with better people from the company to sideline to everything. We got it. We can change lives. We just got to go after it and do it. I love it. And I know that's your mantra. One thing I love about Denise, she is absolutely her own person. She does not care what anyone thinks. She's going to do and live how she wants. I had to laugh because she did go snorkeling with my dad. And when I came back from the day and my dad had snorkeled with her, he was exhausted. And he says, Denise and I are not a good snorkeling pair. She's never snorkeled. And I couldn't get it was the stories were hilarious. But so when we pulled up and Milo said, Denise has a giant purple pillow. And I had to walk up to her. I say, what's up with the pillow? It's a desk. And I could see her as, you know, as you'd get up there and she was just writing from it. And I just, I love that. And she just is who she is. She was there with her sister and her friends. So um, I, I love to see her there. So thank there you. you. Go, there it is. There There's her desk. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> gotta, I absolutely do. So thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Our last Four couples, um, four people, two couples that I wanted to bring up. They're kind of rising through the ranks and they're absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to bring up Kenton and Doris Burkholder first. They're from Napanee, Indiana. And these guys are a little bit newer leaders. But boy, I'll tell you, did they pull off an amazing um, meeting and it was a packed meeting. They got the people there. It was well organized. It ran well. And I'm telling you, this group is going to, I mean, I think they're exploding now, but it's very cool to see. You could see their teams when they were talking to them about the support they get. And they literally got up there and said, our support now is to you. 
we, you know, our growth now is to support you. And I, I remember hearing that and think, I love that. I love that. And you can see that it, they truly have such a heart for this Mauer mission. So I don't know who wants to go, uh, Kenton and Doris, who wants to go first, if you both want to go, but just get on for a few minutes and kind of talk about how you feel like this event went and, um, just a little bit about how you're feeling about this whole Mauer mission and how well you guys are doing. Cause you guys are doing awesome. Hey, Lisa, this is Doris. I think I'll Hi. go first, I guess. Kenton is a little shy, <laughs> but Hey, thanks a lot for having us on. Um, this, this is very special to us. Honestly, this last weekend was just awesome. Um, yeah, I, I love planning stuff like that. Um, but you know, like I said, even on Saturday, you know, with our growth and everything, I couldn't have done it without the team, you know, and Jonathan Luella helped us too. We had a little committee that we, we had to help us and it was just, everyone chipped in and helped. And just like I said, uh, when I was talking on the triangle, I was like each and every person that, you know, submitted something, it doesn't matter how small or how big it helped make the day complete. So, yeah, we definitely didn't do it by ourselves. Um, it was a whole big team working together, and it's just like our growth. If if it wouldn't be for our team, we wouldn't be here. But that's one thing that I like about Sizzle is that we can, if we help other people, our growth will uh, follow, if, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, my goal is definitely to help each each and every one of them that are willing, you know, to do it to reach reach the next the next level and I called them all and let them know I was like I, I was very excited because I was like I want this for you guys I want this this freedom um, financial wise but even as far as personal growth you wouldn't believe how much personal growth we have had in the last two and a half years since we've started it has been amazing it was just like Milo had was saying that he wouldn't want to go back to the uh, old Milo. Um, I'm not sure how the old Milo was because the only thing I knew is the new Milo and kind of crazy if you ask me, but I just, yeah, love the, um, the joking and, you know, just, uh, goofing off, you know, um, because we, you know, we can be serious, but we still need those laughs and jokes and stuff like that because it just shows the new people that Milo He's from corporate, but he's still just a normal person. And that's what he wants people to treat him as, just as another normal person. Um, but I, I wanted to share something that um, I did my call this afternoon. And I asked the people to share what they got out of Saturday. And just about all of them said that the Maurer mission was so impactful. It was just like, just like going back in time and they could actually feel they could kind of feel how you, how you felt when you were talking about it. Um, so that was, it was very precious to hear that, Lisa. You did a super, super job on that and even the toxin-free skincare, you know, and stuff like that. But that was one of the things they mentioned was hearing that uh, mission from a personal point of view, um, how it was and what it means to you. And um, another thing was the video that my look show, uh, showed. A lot of them said that they needed to see that, like the perspective changing the perspective instead of thinking I should do this, I am going to do this or I want to do this and actually doing it. Um, so yeah, it was, it was totally amazing. And yeah, I guess I was just, um, definitely full of information and the testimonials were just awesome. Definitely brought tears to my eyes hearing Denise say, tell her story again, cause I've heard it, you know, before too, but every time it, Tugs at my heart because it's just like how many other children are out there struggling. And it just seems, you know, they think that not like anyone doesn't understand them. Um, so, yeah, that's why I, why I just want to keep on doing this is sharing the our mission, sharing the products to see if we can't just help one more ch uh, child, you know, that's struggling or one more person that has a health issue um, and just. Yeah, keep on keeping on. And there was a lot of new people there Saturday. So it was, I was very impressed on seeing that. So back to you. And I'll actually turn it over to Kenton. Maybe he'll want to share a few words. Well, hello, everyone. And uh, thanks for having us all on the call. It is a pleasure to meet you. And again, 
And uh, I guess my highlight of the of the meeting was hearing the Maurer mission from a Maurer again. I mean, it was awesome to hear them go through from from their front line of two points of everything. And and another thing was uh, Milo's video was absolutely amazing. It brought a whole new perspective to me on how to drive. And I guess my drive for keeping on doing this is just if we can help one more person to experience what we have, it is well worth it. So that's about all I got. So back to you and thanks again for coming. Thank you, Kenton. And thank you, Doris. You guys were just awesome. And, you know, we um, met the Patinis for dinner that night and they had a follow-up meeting, you know, with Luella and Jonathan and, and Doris and, and uh, Kenton and, immediately after the meeting and had just said, you know, what went well, what needs improvement, what, and I just was like, so impressed. I'm like, how cool is this? So efficient. I mean, they want to improve. They want to do better. I thought it was a great event. Um, they're looking to always improve what they're doing. And I, I just can't say enough about these, these new leaders in these areas. So Jonathan and Luella Schleipach, they did the Hill Point, Wisconsin event. Again, another great event. Um, run so easily, perfectly. A lot of fun. Like I said, we have a, a good time. You know, we like to kid. The Mowers have kind of always been that kind of, of family. And I think people out there also like to have a lot of fun with anything you're doing. And this group is, is definitely no different. So Jonathan and Luella, are you with us? And who wants to go first? Yes, uh, we are here. And uh, it was a great couple of energetic days. Um, just like Anthony said, it was a little exhausting at the end, but um, the fun overrides the exhaustion. Uh, through emotions and laughs, um, we had a lot of um, good information and a lot of new people. And after each day, um, coming back, sitting down, and just kind of thinking over, uh, reflecting back, uh, I got tears each time. Uh, new energy, just what the Lisa Lamar, uh, Milo brought, and um, she was saying, like, what are she misses, or she's sad that other people miss or haven't met uh, Tom, um, but the mission lives on. <clears throat> so that's what we want to do is uh, keep on. And one thing I didn't know, but I figured it was this way, but Liesl's view is aligned with her brother's um, Maurer mission. So kind of gives a, a more of a comfort there, and, and we're in good hands. We really are. Uh, now, next, we have something for Thomas and Caden. We have more leaders, or could say rising stars, coming up to help us deliver a lot more health to a lot more customers. I hope Supernatural can keep up with us. So, with that, I'll turn it over to Luella. Hey, Liesl. Thanks for having us on. You're it welcome. was awesome. I I actually when I got the message I was thinking I don't even know what to say, what words to use because of how I felt, like how these events felt. I don't know what words to use to express. You've touched so many hearts simply by speaking from your heart. All the connections and the sharing and well it's always like that, but I don't know, it was just cool. The people actually told us, especially in Wisconsin, that they've never been in a health meeting like this before, where the corporate comes in and they just, they could hear, they could feel the heart that you had. So that was, I was just, well, I have one word that I use, two expressions in one. It's the, fan, it's fantabulous. Those events got an A+. Plus. Lila always helps to keep it fun, but it seems like Liesl knows how to keep him grounded. <laughs> but 
So when we got home Saturday night, we were kind of overwhelmed with how great everything was. We were exhausted and all of that. We came out to the phone to kind of see how what we've got out here. Then we had a call from Wisconsin wondering if they have to wait a long year before these two people will come out again or will we do it again in the fall. I thought that was pretty awesome. But the reason we go on, actually, well, Jonathan and I obviously do it together, and it's it's so fun. It's it's a positive energy. The Pacinis, they bring a lot of energy, and it all comes from the top, I believe. We had lots and lots of laughs, but we also shared tears together. So I'm going to end it with this. When I die, I don't want to think about how much I got. Instead, I want to think about how many I've helped. That's the way we feel. But thanks for having us on, Lisa, and for coming out. It was awesome. It was awesome. And I would love to come back again. And like you said, we I, I kind of did have a, a job taking care of uh, Milo, it seemed like, but uh, everyone enjoys him so much. So let me tell you about how awesome these leaders are. And let me tell you, they've got groups growing up too. Uh, Doris is has just qualified as a five-star in March. Very cool. And um, Jonathan Luella, a six-star. So when you look at these guys and, and where they're going, and it truly is, and I can see that from every interaction and everything they said as they got up and spoke, but just their teams as they got up and, and did testimonials or whatever they did, it it's all about helping people. That is what they um, push first. It's all about making sure that people are successful, that they're, they've they got, um, you know, health questions answered. And the testimonials, boy, I was blown away. People who would get up and say, this is the first time I've ever dared to get up and really tell this testimonial. And then they just have this story that just brings everybody to tears. And, you know, you can see that they're shaking, maybe holding a piece of paper, but that's where it starts. And I've had plenty of times where I've had my shaky paper and you just keep going and you keep doing it again. And you look at these awesome leaders and um, I'm sure uh, you guys have got an awesome future ahead of you because I can see is the support you're giving your team. You have your priorities exactly where they should be. So it was, it was just um, heartwarming for me to see you guys. Um, it was great to be traveling with the Pacinis and also to see um, Ray and Denise and Lynette and some of the other ladies, leaders as well is just awesome. So I have to kind of put in a plug for Mauer Mountain. If you haven't come, if you're on the fence, just come. We have such a good time and um, we've got so many cool things planned. We'll take care of you. So make the decision now. Come and join us and uh, we'll have a great time. And I'm going to turn this back um, to Kate. And I just want to tell all of our guests on today how much we enjoyed being with you guys the last week. It was just awesome to me. I came home. I told my kids some of the stories, um, you know, um, just how much fun we had. And I really underestimated how good it felt to get back um, into traveling and and to have these two be my first two meetings out there was just awesome. So I really want to tell you guys a thank you from me too as well. And Kaden, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Lisa. And my gosh, I feel like I missed out on something. It sounded awesome out there. <laughs> Maybe the next one I'll make it too. But um, thank you everyone for covering all of that. And I wanted to say, Anthony, I believe you that you guys could do it without us, but we couldn't do it without all of you guys. And hearing all this stuff, I remember when I was out in Pennsylvania, we were talking about how you bring all these people because it's almost like recharging your battery when you come to these masters, mini masters, the tour events. And I remember telling them, well, it's a recharge for us too. We sometimes forget here in the office what it's the testimonies that it's changing people's lives. And so we come out there to these different events and it's a recharge for us. And to Jonathan's note, with all of the growth, you've seen Supra and a lot of people will with Meyer Mountain. We can handle it. We're ready for you. <laughs> but um, before we end this call, I also wanted to cover the weight loss challenge winners for the competition. And so first I want to go over the group 
winners. So the team lead gets a hundred dollar voucher and everyone on their team gets a $50 voucher. And then at the end of this month or so this is actually the last month. So it's going to be the finale winners on next call that we're announcing. But, um, this, the winner of this month lost 72 pounds total on their team. And the team was called slim or bust by Mervin and Elizabeth that Weiler, the team leads. And just to go how impressive this is over the entire competition, they have lost 225 pounds on this team, which is incredible. And so congratulations to them. And then the other winners that I want to go over is the social media winners. And I know we have one of them on here. So the first place winner gets $500 in the e-wallet drum roll is Barb Grindy. And she had great content on Facebook. We're going to a little round of applause. She had great content on Facebook and Instagram. She was utilizing both medias. I see her right there. Barb, do you want to say something real quick? <laughs> I saw you clapping. I'm totally stunned. I didn't think I posted much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was consistent great content and always helping everyone it was all about being a leader and helping everyone reach their goals we loved it well, thank you thank you for the thank you everyone thanks <laughs> congrats and then the second place winner with 250 dollars going into their e-wallet was kurt fisnick and he was posting every day on Facebook. Congratulations. And he was doing really helpful tips and really keeping up with nutrition, working out and helping out everybody. So those are the winners that we have so far. And make sure that you tune in to next month's because that's the very end. So we're going to do the body fat percentage winning, which is $3,000. The group winning, that's going to be a $1,000 voucher in every or for everyone, team lead and everyone together. And then another social media. Uh, winning. So on that, I know we're running it pretty close to eight o'clock, actually one minute, but I want to thank everyone for hopping on here and having an awesome month and being a part of Sizzle and helping share the our mission out there and changing people's lives. And if you are new onto this call, make sure that you reach out to the person that shared it with you and see how you can become part of Sizzle. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye. Night, everybody.